If they're not fighting it out for who has the biggest net worth in the world, now Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos' rivalry has been cemented in the space industry. Ever since their respective companies of SpaceX and Blue Origin were formed, the two have battled it out for dominance of the galaxy. And recently, it got even more intense. Today, we're going to take a look at the two billionaire behemoths on their race to space, such as a multi-billion dollar NASA contract that further divided the two firms. We'll also explore a number of other instances the two have clashed over the years. So let's get started. During 2017, NASA got underway with the Artemis program. The mission was simple. Get Americans back onto the moon. The last time NASA got people there was in 1972 for the Apollo program. As such, it's long overdue. The Artemis program also has two additional goals, to get the first woman and the first person of color onto the lunar surface. The aim is to undertake the mission by the mid-2020s. In February 2021, the NASA Office of Inspector General stated that up until 2025, the Artemis program will cost around $86 billion. Due to this, NASA was looking for a company to develop the first commercial human lander. This machine would get the history-making crew to touch down on the moon's surface. The reason for looking for outside help is to reduce the cost of the agency, as well as encourage private enterprises to venture into space. During April 2020, a number of space companies were selected by NASA to design and develop human landing systems, or HLSs. On one side, we have Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. On the other, Elon Musk and SpaceX. Finally, there was Alabama-based firm Dynetics also in the running. The joint cost of this contract came to $967 million for a 10-month period. However, this was later extended to 12 months. Blue Origin received a bigger slice of the money with $579 million since their plan was further along, while Dynetics got $253 million and SpaceX won $135 million. By April 2021, NASA chose SpaceX to develop their design of the Starship HLS, which surprised many as it seemed like the space agency would pick two companies to develop the HLS. The milestone-based contract's value came to $2.89 billion. NASA states that their plan is to launch four astronauts within the Orion spacecraft via their own Space Launch System rocket. After reaching the moon's orbit, two of the astronauts will depart and get into SpaceX's Starship HLS. Once they reach the surface, they'll spend a week there to explore the area. Eventually, the astronauts will essentially do the reverse journey to return to Earth. Shortly after the announcement, Blue Origin and Dynetics teamed up to contest the contract being awarded to their rival. The two believe that NASA's decision was based on flawed evaluations of the bid, as well as their decision to only select one company. The companies filed their protest with the U.S.'s Government Accountability Office, while in response, Elon Musk tweeted a tongue-in-cheek comment about Blue Origin's struggle to launch a rocket into orbit. In May 2021, it was announced that after missing out on the lucrative NASA contract, Blue Origin was in line to receive some funding from the U.S. government. The money would be provided through the Endless Frontier Act, which was formed to help keep the U.S.'s space program competitive with other countries. The cash would be given to NASA, which is expected to be funneled to Bezos's firm. If the funding goes through, Blue Origin will receive $10 billion. In the first three months of 2021, Blue Origin spent a reported $625,000 on lobbying officials for this mound of cash. However, not everyone is happy with this so-called bailout. At the time of writing, Senator Bernie Sanders is looking to amend the bill in order to remove this massive funding. Sanders stated to The Intercept, quote, It does not make a lot of sense to me that we would provide billions of dollars to a company owned by the wealthiest guy in America, unquote. So, watch this space. This isn't the first time that SpaceX and Blue Origin's rivalry has been showcased. During 2013, NASA announced they were looking to lease out Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. The complex was built as part of the Apollo program. It was believed that by renting it out, the agency could save more than $1 million annually in maintenance fees. By 2014, NASA awarded a 20-year lease of LC-39A to SpaceX over Blue Origin. Afterwards, Bezos' company leased K-12 
Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 36 during 2015. The deal is expected to bring in $200 million into the local Florida economy, while the pad itself is reported to have cost $1 billion. Then, during 2014, SpaceX petitioned against Blue Origin in order to invalidate their patents for a rocket able to land on ships at sea. In the end, the judge mostly ruled in SpaceX's favor. 13 of the 15 patents were withdrawn by Blue Origin. And to rub salt into the wound, during 2016, SpaceX successfully landed their Falcon 9 rocket onto a floating platform at sea. Whilst in 2018, the U.S. Air Force funded a number of companies' proposals in developing a launch system prototype. Those selected included Northrop Grunman, United Launch Alliance, and, of course, Blue Origin. Altogether, the contracts totaled $2.3 billion, with Blue Origin receiving $500 million for their new Glenn rocket. Well, SpaceX weren't happy. Instead, in 2019, they filed a lawsuit against the government. They claimed that the contracts were wrongly awarded for, quote, a portfolio of three unproven rockets based on unstated metrics, unquote. The case was rejected by the judge in 2020. However, also in 2020, the contract between the Air Force and Blue Origin was canceled. The space company had only received $255.5 million of their initial award. For those that don't know, Blue Origin was formed by Amazon creator Jeff Bezos in 2000 with the mission to lower the cost of sending people into space. During his high school valedictorian speech, he mentioned that he wanted to build hotels and colonies in space. According to reports, during 2018, Bezos announced plans to liquidate around $1 billion worth of Amazon stock each year to fund Blue Origin. Recently, the company announced they were going to auction off a seat for a civilian to get on board the New Shepard, their spacecraft for tourism. The craft is set to take off in July 2021. At the time of writing, the auction is currently at $2.8 million. During 2002, Musk was the majority stockholder of PayPal. So when eBay came in and purchased the service for $1.5 billion, Musk personally received $180 million. With the new financing, Musk decided to form SpaceX in the same year. During 2001, he had an idea for the Mars Oasis. This project would consist of a sealed chamber being sent to the Red Planet via a spacecraft. The chamber would contain dry nutrient gel and seeds, so once it lands, there's a small greenhouse ready to go. Very similar to Matt Damon's situation in The Martian. At the time, Musk pledged $20 million to this idea. However, once he realized it would be much, much more, he created SpaceX to help lower fees for space exploration. Final fact finish! Looking to create their own version of the United States' GPS satellite system, the European Union developed Galileo. Named after the Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei, the original cost of the program is stated to be 10 billion euros, around $12.2 billion. However, it has been estimated that over 20 years of its lifetime, it could cost 22.2 billion euros, or $27.1 billion. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.